guys. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. TGIS. And it's a girl party today. Let's go. Let's go. Turn yes. up the volume. If we haven't already like busted out your eardrum, I'm sure it's going to happen throughout this Keep uh, turning throughout it up. this Facebook yeah. live. We have Mo Isom. Mo here with Isom. Us. Best, Come on. Best selling author, blogger, blogger, speaker, all that good stuff. All and the things. You yes. are here. You're just amazing. Talking about yeah. this right here. Yes. Sex, this new book. Sex, Jesus, and the Conversations the Church Forgot. Who I just mean, got nervous? Come on. That right there. I know. Like the title is so yeah. powerful. But please, can you just like Loaded. tell us about it? Tell us about it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So. This is my sexual testimony, mm -hmm. um, not as a preacher, as a pilgrim, mm -hmm. someone who learned every hard lesson, every hard way. And when I wrote my first book, Wreck My Life, that was my testimony of coming to faith. Mm -hmm. But I knew that the sexual layer of it all couldn't just be squeezed into a quick chapter. Yeah. Like it needed legs of its own because it needed to be unpacked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sexual issues are like the biggest thematic struggle in our world mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. And yet people are looking to the church and we're not talking about it. We're not unpacking yeah. it. And a lot of time I think it's because we're struggling with our own stuff mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the enemy likes to silence us mm -hmm. by shame. And so yeah. I was just, this was like a battle cry of mm -hmm. like, not going to be silent any longer. There are a lot of people mm -hmm. who need to know the truth and redemption yeah. and who Jesus really yeah. is in yeah. light of our sexual mm -hmm. sin and yeah. our struggles with porn and our struggles with promiscuity or even our struggles in purity and then this misguided understanding when we yeah. step into marriage just all the things all mm -hmm. the things yeah. so we just poured it into yes. here and in my own testimony and just yeah. kind of unpack truth around it i love it yes yeah. so yeah. who is this book for yeah um not my mom uh, <laughs> <laughs> though she received it well um maybe other moms out there just yes, not Mo Eisen's mom. but just not my mom um no this was for really it was written for women because I'm a woman mm -hmm. um, and it was written for the millennial generation because that's who my yeah. heart like beats for yeah. but it's been so amazing to see this is more than just a sex book yeah. it is it a book that speaks to the heart of man mm -hmm. and so it's been amazing to hear it's reached young it's reached old men and women alike people with broken past people figuring out how to navigate their present mm -hmm. parents knowing how to have the right types of conversations yeah. with their kids fathers have loved it so they wow. can have a better perspective for their children but also husbands so they mm -hmm. can have a perspective of their wife and yeah. it's just served a lot of areas it stretches yeah. from my testimony from age eight to now into marriage yeah. so it moves yeah. through young life it moves through singleness and it moves mm -hmm. through um content around marriage too so it's yeah. got this great wide stretch that's awesome yeah, yeah. sex jesus and the conversations of the church forgot God. yeah why do you think it's why do you think the church has forgotten yeah. these conversations or don't talk about it yeah exactly i don't know <clears throat> um it grinds my gears because <laughs> if we <laughs> sorry and by the way i say church as the body of christ as a whole and we're not talking about you know the building with four walls yeah. solely we're talking about the body of believers yeah. as a whole i when when jesus opened my eyes to the realities of sex of what god designed of mm -hmm. why he intended instruction around it it boggled my mind that we're not talking about it because sex is a gift from god mm -hmm. yeah. it was given to us by god with great instruction around it mm -hmm. it's an incredible act of worship in yeah. the right context and it is a weapon against the enemy mm -hmm. in the right context in mm -hmm. marriage it is a force mm -hmm. And yet the world has stolen it, twisted it, cheapened mm -hmm. it, perverted it, worshiped it. Mm -hmm. And then people are living in the repercussions of sexual brokenness and a lack of identity and all of these issues that kind of grow out of it. Mm -hmm. And they're looking to the church for answers, for help, for healing. And yet the church is like, this has gotten too messy, too big. I don't know what to say about it, how to talk about it. Am I going to offend somebody? What does this look like? And that's we're never called to measured walking and uncertainty. Mm -hmm. We're called to know the truth of the word of God. Right. And we're called to know who Jesus is in mm -hmm. light of our sin. Yeah. And um, so this was a call up to the church, not mm -hmm. a call out of the church. Mm -hmm. We're all human. We're all navigating this and kind of a mess. Yeah. But it was a call up to the church of let's rise That's up. Good. Let's yeah. reclaim sex for the glory of God. Yeah, let's yeah. speak into this broken mm -hmm. stuff and see hope and healing and yeah. life, yeah. you know, renewed through Christ. And mm -hmm. so um, this was a battle cry. Love powerful it. exactly yeah. yes i think it's a conversation that we all need to be having now Definitely. Yeah. Um, especially right now in, in our culture yeah um but what would be if you had to sum it up in in one sentence or one takeaway 
okay, for those that are reading this book, what do you <laughs> hope that they do after reading this book? Oh my goodness. I or hope get they, from it. I hope they put down this book and want to pick up God's book. Mm. Ooh, God has yeah. so much to say about sex. Yeah. And there is so much unpacked to us in scripture through the person of Jesus involving sex. Scripture is riddled with sexual content, and yeah. yet we act like we're too pure to talk about these things. I'm like, God yeah. is the one who used Rahab the prostitute yeah. in the lineage yeah. of Jesus Christ. Yeah. He's the one who sat with the adulteress um, and didn't stone her, actually mm -hmm. sent her out in his great love and mercy and said, go yeah. and sin no more. Mm -hmm. He's the one who met the woman at the well, and in yeah. the face of her filth, he stayed right mm -hmm. there and still offered her living water. And mm -hmm. There, we see kingdoms rise and fall around sexual issues, um, especially if you look in the Old Testament. And it's yeah. just God's word is 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 ripe with conversations mm. about sex. So yeah. I hope people put down this yeah. book feeling bold and healed and hopeful and dive into the word yeah. of God and let him pull back the layers. Yes. Pull back yeah. the scales from their yeah. eyes and do good work in their hearts. I love yeah. it. I love it. And now, guys, if you want more of Mo Eisen, just follow her Who on Instagram. Want more? Follow Come this on. home chick on I Instagram. Love the Instagram. I'm telling you, her stories are fire, okay? <laughs> but then we also get a glimpse into your precious life with your yes. two precious little baby girls. That's what sex does. It makes babies. <laughs> and I got a couple. Uh, and your yeah. husband and y'all's relationship. It's yeah. so awesome. Yeah. How are you guys Thank doing? You. We're good. We're making yeah. it. I have a two-year-old and a six-month-old. Wow. And um, I don't know how I'm awake right now, standing. <laughs> I don't know either. It's a lot, but I got a smoking hot husband, so it's, it's worth it. It's, it's oh a fun gosh. journey. Well, how, how was that, like, when you decided to write your sexual testimony, like, how did he feel about that? Um, he's so amazing because he obviously is involved. He's, he's yeah. like, the last two or three chapters of yeah. this book involves uh -huh. him. And I'm his bride. And mm -hmm. so for me to bear all of these, you know, sins and struggles and scars from my past, I went to him asking permission, kind of, and I would read through chapters and see what he thought. Yeah. And I don't think a single time did he shy away in nervousness or shame or guilt. Awesome. He was so proud because mm -hmm. he knows scripture says we boast in our weaknesses to point yeah. to the glory of the cross. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so he was like, he trusted me with it. Yeah. He delighted in my words. He encouraged me on when mm -hmm. I was like, I cannot share this. <laughs> There's a part in here about adultery, about yeah. being involved in adultery with a man that I didn't know was married. And mm -hmm. um, that was terrifying for mm -hmm. me to even think about sharing. Yeah. And I remember sitting on the couch with Jeremiah like, babe, this is what God's saying. I have to write, but you're the only person, you and one other friend are the only people I've yeah. confessed it to. And yeah. he was like, if God's stirring it, you've got to write it. And wow. yeah, yeah, that's good. it's just amazing to have someone in your corner that's, that's focused on the same things that, yeah. that God desires for our life, authenticity and vulnerability. And yeah. I think some of the greatest feedback I've heard from people is they've said, you were so raw and so intimate, mm -hmm. yet you honored the covenant of your marriage. Mm -hmm. There's still, there's still privacy yeah. in it. And so, I don't know, that's the Holy Spirit, you yeah. know, yeah. writing that. But I was grateful to know that, that yeah. he's still honored and respected, yet there's a lot of vulnerability mm -hmm. and honesty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It. Yeah. What would you say to someone watching right now who might be ashamed of their past and mm -hmm. like, you know, still looking for that husband and just afraid of what they may think of their past? Like, what would you say to them to encourage them? Oh, goodness. Let me just speak right <laughs> to your heart. I would say that we do not need the affirmation um, or, or the worth given to us by another. We need a soul mm -hmm. reawakened mm -hmm. to our worth in God's eyes. Mm -hmm. You are seen. You are known. You are loved. He has plans and purpose for you. He delights in you. He wants healing and wholeness and a resurrection mm -hmm. of restored newness in your yeah. heart. Mm -hmm. um, and he, he sees you. He sees you in the midst of your sexual mm -hmm. sin and the throes of all that you're wrestling with right now. And he loves you. Mm -hmm. And so when we know that, who we are in light of who Christ is, then the feedback um, the things, the hard stuff we have to wrestle through with people because mm -hmm. that's very real, you know, mm -hmm. all of that becomes, um, more palpable. Mm -hmm. We can navigate it because we know where our hope stands and we know yeah. where our wholeness is rooted. And, mm -hmm. um, like with my husband, I was terrified to tell him all of this stuff because mm -hmm. he had a very different past than I did. Mm -hmm. But what I loved was he said, have you brought all this before God? Have mm -hmm. you confessed all these things? Have you, you know, repented and, um, have you been forgiven? Mm -hmm. And I was like, Yes, <laughs> I have. And he was like, 
then I have no no condemnation for you either. Then then yeah. you're forgiven. We don't have to drag this on mm-hmm. and you know wrestle through all of this. That's let's beautiful. see what God says about it and mm-hmm. let's move in in boldness and freedom forward. Yeah. So yeah. there's That's there's awesome. good men out there and there's good women out there who mm-hmm. are focused yeah. on those same things and yeah. and it's worth aligning our lives with those types of people versus yeah. those who would who would shame you and hang right, things over right. your head and use your past against you. Definitely. Yeah, it's such a powerful message yeah. of inspiration and yes. hope. Get the book. Get Sex, the book. Jesus, and the Conversations the Church Forgot. Anywhere such books are sold yes. and cbn.com. Yes. And she is going to be speaking at our chapel today for the last day of our annual CBN yes. Week of Prayer. Yes. We're so excited, guys. Again, just go to cbn.com. You can watch her live. It's being live streamed. Mo, we love you. Yes, we You're you. awesome. Thank Thank you. Get so the fun. book, guys. guys. Yes, and watch the 700 Club in yes. just a couple minutes. We've got a whole day packed with you. I, I know. know. Yes. It's busy. We it's busy. It. <laughs> well, you can handle it. You I can, can handle, handle it. it. I'm a mother. I can That's do this. That's right. Exactly. I'm two young ones. You can do anything. <laughs> this is easy. <laughs> All right. Thank you See so you much, guys. Time. Have a great day. See ya.